Are you looking for an exciting and fast way of quickly finding some awesome investments that match your criteria? Today I'm going to quickly show you in Coifin one of my favorite ways of identifying some quick investment opportunities. So coming down to the analytics tab, coming to the market scatter tab, we get this option. Now this allows us to say take listed companies and plot them on a two by two matrix and then begin to manipulate what we're seeing and how we're seeing it. What I like to do is I like to also take, and it gives you the opportunity to also pluck out and load up the holdings from one of the ETFs. Now you may know I'm a big fan of SCHD, so I'm loading up that. And I can also change the X and Y axis. So for example, I could be looking at valuation. I could be looking at company growth. At the moment, I'm looking at current dividend yield and the dividend per share estimate for compound annual growth rate for the next five years. So this has given me a sense of here, I want to be looking up in this quadrant here where there's a high yield and high estimated growth rate. Now, obviously, that's going to be a very quadrant with very few items in there and instead low yield and low dividend per share estimates is what I expect to see. Now, we've got a couple of really cool things here. We can begin to say sort by dividend yield. I can begin to then click through. It takes me straight through to a, a picture here, the charting for that company. I can also sort by the dividend per share estimates, and I can also begin to see the sector here as well. Now, what can I do with this? Why do I like this so much? It's obviously, it's got a very big chart, but I can also zoom in, and, and I can get a sense of what's going on where. So I can begin to zoom in. I can begin to zoom in, and of course, once I identify a potential option, I can hover over here, I can get a look at the charts, and I can then click on through, and it will take me straight into the investment opportunities, and helps me to learn a little bit more about this organization. So here, for example, jumping straight into Pfizer, it's in the SCHD, so we could expect it's going to have a nice dividend track record here, and that is indeed what we're seeing with current dividend yield of over 5%, and a 10-year dividend growth rate of 5.6%. Now, just looking back really quickly, back to the market scatter, what else can I do? I might be looking for examples of utilities that might fit the bill. And here, for example, there's only two utilities. And again, there's not a lot of options there. But I might be looking for, example, consumer staples or financials, where there's a few more options or industrials. And I could then begin to see what's going on here with these companies. 3M, way out here, UPS, seems to have some reasonable dividend growth rate per share opportunities going forward. And there are a couple of other options over here as well that could be interesting for me to look at. So it very quickly allows me to see what's going on out there in the market. I can filter this. I can begin to see what are some interesting opportunities here. And, and for example, up here, as I say, the top right quadrant, high current yield, high estimates. Here seems to be an interesting opportunity in Lazard. Now, I don't know much about this company. Let's find out a little bit more about what is going on with this company and whether or not this might be an interesting pick. So we can see from the historical price graph over the last five years, obviously the COVID crash recovery and fairly lackluster shareholder returns after that. Now the beta here is 1.4, so it is quite a volatile stock. It's in the capital markets industry. Now zipping down to the dividend tab, we can see here Lumpy, they, they seem to pay out a lot of special dividends. Now this is over the last 10 years. So we can see here dividend payments of about 30 cents through to dividend payments of 50 cents, 47 cents. And so we can see some reasonable dividend growth rates here. Now, when I look here as well, this gives me a very good perspective on what these dividends are going to be looking like in the past. And also in this beautiful box here is the shareholder yield. Now, this is what I like to see. I like to see this dividend yield here of that 7.25%, the current dividend yield. But also it lets me quickly see that there's also a strong buyback yield here as well, giving an overall shareholder yield of 17 of 14%, uh, which is very nice to see. 
Now, is this a good buy? I don't know, but it's definitely something we can look into a little bit more. So here, for example, I can then quickly pull up the percentile rank. I can see from the valuation metrics here that the price to sales seems to be very good against the 10-year history in the US and Canadian financials in general, which is probably going to be the best comparison here. Again, it ranks fairly well. And scrolling down, though, I can see that there could be some potential issues here with leverage being very high both regarding or relating to the 10-year history, as well as this percentile rank. And margins and profitability seem to have some challenges here as well. So on the face of it, even though using the market scatter diagram, it looks like this could be a really interesting, really good, really profitable opportunity. I can quickly go in here in this platform and begin to assess whether or not this is a viable investment opportunity, whether or not I would take this further with a deeper dive and from this for example i would be looking at this and saying despite the fact that the numbers for the dividends look good the shareholder yield looks good this is definitely something i'll be spending a bit more time on looking at for example valuation yields margins and profitability and most importantly at this current time i would be spending time looking at this a lot more closely what do you think i love this ability here to look at the market scatter diagrams. What do you think? Is this a feature and a function that you would find useful in your investing? If so, let me know in the comments down below.